These pulleys are designed for use in small to large scale electric motors. For example, fan belts in the air circulation systems of office buildings, factories and mines. The factory makes its pulleys from a 50-50 mix of scrap iron and steel. The furnace heats the metal to 1,370 degrees Celsius, slightly above the metal's melting point. Workers adjust the chemical composition by adding carbon and silicon. The right recipe is essential for producing quality metal. In the furnace, the metal's impurities, called slag, rise to the surface. Workers use giant paddles to skim it off. Once the lab analyzes and approves a sample, they transfer the molten metal by ladle to a 30-ton holding furnace. This furnace maintains the metal at a constant 1,370 degrees Celsius, the required temperature for a proper casting. You can't pour metal this hot into a metal mold, the mold would just melt, so instead the factory uses damp sand. Sand withstands intense heat by absorbing it. The machine forms the molds much the way you'd use a pail to form a sandcastle. It first constructs the bottom half of the mold. This filter will screen out any slag particles the molten metal may still contain, and these cores create empty spaces within a part. Now the machine forms the top half of the mold. They slip a weighted metal jacket around the finished sand mold. This keeps it from collapsing under the weight of the metal. Workers fill the molds right to the top. It takes from 30 to 45 minutes for the molten metal to solidify. They remove the weighted metal jacket, then dump the mold into what's called the shakeout. The vibration breaks the sand mold apart, releasing the metal pulleys. While the pulleys go off to be cleaned, the sand is recycled into new molds. The pulleys are in rough form. They still have to be machined to specifications. A robot places each one under a computerized camera. A visual recognition program guides the robot to position the pulley properly in the various automated tooling machines. The first machine makes the pulleys grooves. The next machine will drill holes in the hub for installing the screws. At the end of the machining process, a gauging system takes precise measurements and guides the equipment to correct any errors. This is a two-part pulley, known as a variable pulley, because it can run a belt at variable speeds. This tooling machine performs several operations on the male component. It machines the face and outside diameter on one side, then flips the pulley over to make the bore and threads on the other side. The last operation drills holes for two screws that will affix the pulley to the shaft of the electric motor. A touch of lubricant and the next machine assembles the male and female parts. After setting the proper speed, the user locks the parts in position with a screw. 